In this video, I am going to introduce you to Agent Search. Agent Search is an AI based agent first search engine which enables you to operate a web scale search engine locally, catering to both large language models and human users. This open source initiative provides access to over 1 billion high quality embeddings sourced from a wide array of content including selectively filtered Creative Commons data and the entirety of Airship, Wikipedia and Project Gutenberg. There are a lot of cool features around this agent search such as it is fully customizable, you can upload your own local data or adapt or wide data set to meet specific requirements. You can also have offline support because it operates in a completely offline environment. It also offers fully managed access through a dedicated API for seamless integration into various workflows and applications. You can see that it is, uh, I'm already on their website and you can search anything on their website. Let's play around it a bit and then after this I'll show you how you can locally install it on your own system and do the inference on it. So let's uh, search for something, let us say, I'm just going to ask it about myself. Uh, I'm not self-centered by the way, but just to see what exactly it does. So there you go, took a bit of a time. Okay, so instead of my name, it has, okay, so it has given me a different one. Nope, so this is, I mean, actually it is right, he is more famous, he is the actor of Pakistani origin. I'm just trying to see if there are any other, nothing. Okay, so let's go with, I'll just cast test, maybe um, somewhat other question. What is the difference between PyTorch and TensorFlow? Let's see. There you go. So it has given us the, um, not only the answer, but also various other results from the repository and they look pretty good so you can even see that even the answer is spot on and then there are a lot of other things i believe we can do about it and it seems that this research option is currently disabled and then you can also have access to their um, docs now i think this is doing sci-fi rag at the moment And once you click on that sci-fi rag, it, it takes you to the Google rag, so which is a different one. So if I click on Google, so you can switch between those two, whichever you like. Whether you like the Google's answer or you like the sci-fi's or agent search answer. Okay, cool. Now, let's see how you can play around with it locally. Because as I mentioned earlier, you can install it totally offline in your own environment. Now, in order to run it, the first step you would need to do is to have an API key, a free one. So go to their website and I'll drop the link in video description. The website is sci-fi.ai and then sign up with your free account with email. Once you sign up with your free account, you can just click on generate API key and you will get your generate API. So I have created my API key from sci-fi which is free and allows you to have 15,000 request per month from their repository which is plenty and quite generous i don't know how long that would last but still uh, very impressive and really cool and now let me show you how you can install it locally on your own local servers i'll be using aws ec2 instance for it and the uh, specs is g4d and 2x large with one gpu and 32 gig of ram but of course you can go accordingly uh, maybe on your own machine or your own server so let me go to my terminal so this is my ubuntu terminal let me quickly show you the version of ubuntu which i'm using so as you can see it is 22.04 let me clear my screen now the first step which we need to do is to uh, export the environment variable with the key so this is the environment variable you need to use which is export sci-fi underscore api underscore key and then just um, put your sci-fi key which you have just generated from their website here. Let me do that and clear the screen. 
okay now it's time to install it so the command is quite simple pip install agent dash search that's it press enter and if you're using ubuntu then you might not have access to pip so you have to install it initially let's wait for it to finish it takes a bit of a time to install a lot of things okay so it's quite quick this time amazing that's done let's clear the screen and we already have set it as an environment variable which is amazing and now it's time to do the sum of the inference okay so python should be installed of course so this is how you run it python dash m agent search dot script run and then whatever your query is so I'll, I'll, I'll ask it what is uh, or maybe i'll just ask it what is capital of australia and then this and now press enter so i ran it as you can see here and i had to do python 3 dash m agent search and my prompt was what is the capital of australia now first um, it has given me some of the information that all content is protected by copyright and then there you go it has given me some of the searches it has done and then I'm not sure if the answer is correct because all I was expecting is some sort of correct answer but you can see it is just going on and on something to do with Hashemite Kingdom Pacific American <laughs> leadership yes Australia is in Pacific but again so it is just going with APAC and all that stuff so first try not really up to the mark I would say from this so let me clear it let me ask it another prompt this was quite simple anyway I'll just I'll just ask it where is K2 mountain let's see what it does now so where, what is K2 so this is correct as you can see if I sorry I have to scroll up I guess okay yeah go at the top so it says what is that K2 disaster is that a movie or something no, so again, so now the answer is correct that K2 is the second highest mountain on earth and all. So this answer is correct, as you can see. This is pretty impressive. So you have your own search engine um, locally on your own system. In the, uh, I'm running it in the AWS cloud, of course, but you can run it anywhere as long as you follow the, those installation instructions. Pretty amazing. Let me clear my screen. Let me ask it one more question just to see how recent it is um, how to make sure that I am uh, how to make make sure that my job is sorry sorry about that let me type it again my job is AI proof let's see let's go up and see there you go okay so it is again hallucinating that um, did it ish. so yeah so you can see what is happening here is that its data set it is limited they say that they have billion billions of um, embeddings and all that stuff but still because they're using project Gutenberg common and other stuff so I think it's still uh, not that huge but having said that the very fact that you can run it offline with very quickly with just pip install and then using it as your offline search engine it's amazing and just imagine if you could integrate your own data with this search engine and then with just this python command you'll be able to run it i have done a lot of reviews of a lot of products out there and I can tell you it's really pain in the back to get them configured and talk to your own data. But this project uh, looks quite promising. So for this video, this is it. This is what agent searches and this is what um, you can do to install it and play around with it. I will also make another video where I'll show you how you can use your own custom data and point this search to that custom data. That will be really useful. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or if you are stuck, let me know and I'll be happy to help and I'll drop the link to their website in video's description too. That's it guys. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.